improved analytics. This podcast is at the intermediate level. It requires some knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or of Greek. Accordance 12 has brought us a lot of new improvements, including advances in its search analytics. In today's podcast, we'll take a look at each kind of analysis, emphasizing their newest features. For those of you brand new to Accordance, more information is available in podcast number 138, Analyzing Search Results. The first evidence of Accordance 12's new, improved analytics is the position of the Analytics button, which still only appears once we've run a search. It and the total number of hits used to appear on the right side of the pane. Both are now centered, and the Analytics button includes explanatory text. The button also now appears on the toolbar for those who prefer to access it there. Clicking either button reveals a drop-down menu with eight different kinds of analyses, as well as a choice for default analytics. We can customize default analytics in accordance preferences under search tabs so that they open one or more of our favorite analysis tabs. Now let's take a look at these analytics and how they've been improved in accordance 12. The biggest change to the hits and analysis graphs are the ability to zoom in and pan to see results. Let's run a search for the word love, then we'll open the hits graph. Clicking the plus button here will allow us to zoom in to see a larger graph, while we can scroll across it by clicking the arrows on either side. This is different than adjusting the coarseness of the analysis, or the number of hits per word, which we can change with this slider, from coarser to finer. Accordance's pie and bar charts offer two different ways to look at the same data. In addition to some nice visual updates, they've received the most new features in version 12. We can use the Actions menu to customize our display however we like, which is true for all analytics. Hovering the cursor over a chart segment changes its color slightly and shows the information in instant details. That's especially helpful for smaller segments whose information may not appear in the chart due to space constraints. The rest of the behavior of these analytics is dependent upon what kind of text we're searching. The rule of thumb is, the more tagging information they contain, the greater the degree to which we can analyze them. Let's take a look at a few examples. When we search for a word in a key number text, the default chart will be of the key numbers translated by that word, as shown here. If we had searched for a key number, the chart would have shown the various words that translated it. In either case, we can click a segment of the chart to search for and analyze the text use of a word or key number. This is called a parallel search, since it searches for every occurrence of that item, not just one particular combination of word and key number. Shift-clicking a segment will perform a filtered search in the text for that particular word and key number combination allowing us to view just those hits in the text. That's because the at sign in this search string is joining two different kinds of information, a key number and a word. Finally, clicking prior results returns us to the previous chart. Now remember, we can always switch between viewing an analysis of the key number and the word by using this drop-down menu. Just as with key number text, Hovering over an analysis pie chart or bar chart for a search in a morphologically tagged text shows information in instant details. From here on out, though, everything is just a bit different. That's because these texts include so much more information, as we can see from the choices in this drop-down menu. There are other differences here, though, as the text in the upper right corner of the analytics panes indicates. Click to filter results. Here, we've searched for the Greek word agapao. Clicking on the segment that represents these 73 indicatives, for example, will show the 18 different inflected forms that make up those indicatives. The filter appears in the chart's pane header to help us keep track. It now shows agapao where it is tagged as any kind of indicative. Shift-clicking a segment searches the text for just those particular hits. Now, the new filter appears in the search entry box 
as well as the analysis pane headers. It now says agapao, where it is found as any indicative, and also found as the inflected form agapesis. Clicking prior results returns to the previous chart. Once again, remember that we can analyze different kinds of data simply by making different choices from the pane's drop-down menu. That's a lot of information to take in all at once. If you found it all a bit overwhelming, here's a table that summarizes Accordance 12's improved pie and bar charts by text type. Key number texts allow us to analyze by word and key numbers, the equivalent of original language words. Morphologically tagged texts permit analyzing by lexeme, part of speech, and parsing, while syntactically tagged texts add the ability to analyze syntactically to all of the above. In every case, we can switch the information we are analyzing by using the drop-down menu in the pane header. The new features are these. We can click on a segment to analyze parallel data and key number text, while the same action will allow us to view filtered data on morphologically and syntactically tagged text. For all three kinds of text, shift-clicking on a segment will search the text for filtered data. We've long been able to right-click any word in the Analysis tab and search any text for it. However, Accordance 12 adds something new to Analysis. We can now triple-click any word or key number to search for it in the current search text. For example, triple-clicking Covenant, small c, searches for that exact form of covenant, while triple-clicking the key number H1285 under it searches for all the places where that key number is translated by covenant with a small c. Here's another example. Triple-clicking covenants, small c in plural, searches for that exact form, while triple-clicking G1242 under it searches for that key number, but only when it's translated by covenants, small c in plural. The callouts on the right show the exact search string each of these triple clicks use. The concordance is perhaps the least appreciated analytic. After all, it's just a simple listing of references of hit words, right? We've long been able to hover over any references and see the passage in instant details. Accordance 12 improves on this, though, as now we can simply click on a reference to open it in a text tab. Why is this better? Well, there are two reasons. First, we can choose to show all text in the text tab, which allows us to read the passage in context. Second, these text tabs also let us add parallel resources, like another text. These additional features make Accordance 12's concordance better than ever. The analytics table and table chart receive the least amount of attention in Accordance 12, save for some updates to the chart graphics. Still, I'd like to remind viewers that the action menus for these analytics offer powerful sorting tools and the option to see chapter level detail. Accordance 12's new improved analytics complement its agile and varied searches. They are quick enough to encourage what if thinking and reliable enough to provide accurate data for the most discerning professional. I trust this view of analytics will encourage you to explore the Bible in new ways and provide additional insights into its meaning. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.